This way to Bear Country, you'll know when you're there. As soon as you enter, you'll feel like a bear. A great grizzly bear, a Berenstain bear. We are the Berenstain Bears. Mama, Papa, Sister, Brother. We appreciate each other. We live in a split level tree. Mama, Papa, Sister, and me. Snuggest buds in a split level tree. Here are more Berenstain Bears. Factual, factual. Big Bob Bear. Rapids are out. Oh, uh who's -huh. Tea Honey Bucket? I'm the mayor. And lots, lots more. Bears galore. You may think that this starts our show. Well, it does. Some mail for you. Thank you, Mr. Mail Bear. Oh, good. My tree housekeeping magazine. Hi, Mama. Excuse us. Hey, how about a game of Tiddlywinks? Okay, I'll race you up to our room. You're on. Those cubs, with that kind of energy, you'd think they could take better care of their room. <sighs> Speaking of rooms, aren't these lovely? <laughs> Dear, just look at these lovely rooms. <laughs> what, what rooms? What rooms? Help! Where am I? These model treehouse rooms in Treehouse Keeping Magazine. Aren't they lovely? Oh, they're nice enough, I suppose, but certainly no lovelier than the rooms in our very own treehouse. This lovely, gracious, neat as a pin living room, cozy, warm, comfortable in the extreme. Oh, it's all right, I suppose. And our delightful dining room. A room to be proud of. Floor clean enough to eat off, not to mention the table. Yes, but... And, of course, your wonderful spick and span, perfectly delicious kitchen. A model room, if ever there was one. Yes, but... Yes, but what? Yes, but there's one place in this treehouse I'm not proud of. Brother and sister's room is a mess. A perfectly dreadful, knock-down, drag-out, wall-to-wall mess. And I'm not going to stand for it any longer. I've put up with that messy room long enough. <laughs> uh, well, dear, I've got some urgent work to do in my shop. For Pete's sake, sister, will you take your shot? We're playing tiddlywinks, not chess. Just hold your horses. I didn't get to be tiddlywinks champ of Bear Country School by rushing my shop. What's that? An earthquake? Worse, it's Mama on the warpath. Nice collection of spiders you've got up here. Yes, they're very useful. They eat the ants that come in for food crumbs. Very clever. Isn't it hard to get around? I mean, in all this mess? Not really. Watch! Very impressive. How do you get this closet door open? To hang up your clothes, I mean. Well, we don't bother. 
we just sort of hang them in different places around the room. Most impressive. In fact, this is the most impressive mess I personally have ever seen. The filthiest, dirtiest, most disgusting mess known to bears. Unquestionably the number one messy room in all bear country. Destined to go down in the filthy, dirty hall of fame. And I am just not going to take it any longer. I've had it. No more, Mrs. Nice Guy. The time has definitely come for me to put my foot down. Yeah. Yeah, Mama. You had a perfect right to put your foot down. But when you did it, you put it down right on my airplane cement. That does it. That does it. Now hear this. I want this entire room cleaned. And for starters, I want this entire floor picked up, picked up clean. And I want it done in exactly 15 minutes. 15 minutes? You heard me. 15 minutes. Anyway, that stuff she picked up with her foot is a start. Look, we don't have time for smart remarks. You've got some heavy picking up to do. I've got some heavy picking up to do. How do you figure that? Most of this mess is yours. Oh, yeah? What about these? Your baseball cards? Your ball, bat, and glove? Oh, yeah? Well, what about these? Your farm animals? Your stuffed bunny? Well, if you're so smart, how am I supposed to sweep up with your dumb dinosaur toys all over the floor? They're not toys. They're models. And you leave them alone. I'm working on a setup of the Pleistocene age. Pleistocene, schmeistocene. That's what you get for kicking my stuff, Bunny. You know something? What? This isn't getting the job done. And the minutes are ticking by. We'd better get to work. Well, what do you think? What do I think? I think we're in big trouble. And the 15 minutes are almost up. What'll we do? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I have a creative idea. We sure could use one. Mama's gonna have a fit if we don't get this whole mess off the floor and out of sight. Precisely. minutes. Time's up. This is wonderful. I can actually see the floor. Yeah, you can get around the room without a pogo stick. And look, with the floor clean, you can actually open the... No, Mama! Don't open it! Closet! the box for? It's for all this trash. No, Mama, no! My baseball cards aren't trash. All this good-for-nothing throwaway trash. That's not trash. That's my best doll. Not my coloring books and crayons. Help! Help! Please! Please, Mama, not my dinosaur collection. Stop! That's my first baseman's mitt. Help! Oh, no! Cries for help. Well, the mess certainly has built up in this room. In fact, it's the worst case of messy buildup I've ever seen. 
Now let's sit down and talk this over calmly. So you see, this messy room isn't fair. It isn't fair to your mama and me. We have a lot of other things to take care of. But it isn't fair to you cubs, because you really can't have fun or relax in a room that's such a terrible mess. What you need is a little organization, and maybe a box. Not a trash box. No, a toy box. I'll make you one, and maybe a lot of other little boxes for your games and collections. And how about one of those boards with all the holes in it? Like you have in your shop. A pig board. Good idea. Well, what do you think? What about the closet? Go ahead. Open it. I'm not sure I dare. Go ahead. Open it. Oh. Yes, indeed. A room and a closet to be proud of. What about us? Yeah, aren't you proud of us, too? Absolutely. Puzzolutely. Hey, what about yours truly, Papa Q Bear? What do you think, Cubs? Should we keep old Papa Q? <laughs> yeah, let's keep him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>